Brandon runs a store and gives a discount of 10% to all his regular customers. So, every time he creates an invoice for them, he applies a discount of 10% on it. With Zoho Books, Brandon can create a price list with 10% discount and associate it to his regular customers. This way, the discount will be applied automatically every time an invoice is created for them. Let's see how price lists work in Zoho Books. To get started, you will have to enable price lists. Go to Settings, Preferences and select Items. Mark this box under Price Lists. Scroll down and click Save. Now we can create a price list. Go to Items and select Price Lists. Click the plus button next to Price Lists or the Add New Price List button in the top right corner. Enter the name of the price list. Choose whether you want to create the price list for your sales transactions such as estimates, sales orders and invoices or purchase transactions such as purchase orders and bills. In this video, we'll select sales. If you want to increase or decrease the item rates by a certain percentage, you can select this option. Or if you want to set custom rates for each of your items, you can select this option. When you choose custom rates, you can enter the custom price for each item against its original price and save the price list. You can also import your price list by selecting this option. If you have more than 1000 items in your organization, you will have to export your items, add custom rates for the items in the exported file, and input them into Zoho Books as a price list. In this video, we will create a price list based on percentage. Enter a description for your price list here. You can either choose to mark up, that is, increase the item rates, or markdown, that is, decrease the rates by a percentage. Here, we will select a markdown of 10%. If you want to round off your item prices, choose from the options given here. Then, click Save. With this, your price list is created. Now, let's see how to apply this price list to a customer. Go to Sales and select Customers. Select the customer to whom you want to associate the price list. Click Edit. Scroll down to Price Lists in the Other Details section. The sales price list that you have created will be available here and you can select it from this drop down. Then click Save. Now the price list is associated with this customer. So, whenever you create a sales transaction for this customer, the price list will be automatically applied. However, you also have the option to remove the price list when you're creating the transaction. If you have created a purchase price list, you can associate it to your vendors similarly. Price lists can also be directly applied to transactions like estimates, sales orders, invoices, bills, and purchase orders. Let's see how to associate a price list to an invoice. Go to Sales and create a new invoice. Select a customer. Add the item details. On top of these items, you can find the price list option. Here, we can select the price list that we have created. Once you select this, the prices of the items will change accordingly. And this is how you can associate price lists in your transactions. Depending on the type of the price list, you can associate it with your sales or purchase transactions. After you have created a price list, you can hover over it and find the actions that you can perform on it. You can edit your price list you can mark the price list as inactive for a temporary period. 
When you want to activate it again, you can click Mark is active. And you can delete the price list by clicking here. Please note that if you have applied this price list to any transaction, you cannot delete it unless you remove the price list from that transaction. Click the hamburger icon in the top right corner and you can find other actions such as importing and exporting your price lists. With that, we hope you've got an understanding of how price lists can be used to change item rates in Zoho Books. If you have any queries, feel free to write to us at support at the rate zohobooks.com. Thank you.